Hello everyone, this is going to be a short guide on two methods of obtaining infinite energy and in the FTB ultimate pack or if you have any of the mods associated uh, with these two methods uh, you can obtain infinite energy. So this is, so the first method is slaying pigs. So you may ask why pigs? Well they drop raw meat and what you can do is take that meat and you can cook it into cooked pork chops and you can send that into a culinary generator which produces around 60,000 RF. Uh, I don't know the exact number but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's around there and you will obtain more than enough pork chops after this runs a while uh, to sustain just all your energy needs. These uh, cooked pork chops or the culinary generator in my opinion is super OP I mean both methods actually utilize the culinary generator because I mean just certain ways to obtain the foods needed or to create energy is super easy such as creating a mob trap with uh, pigs so this one is just a mob grinder with a grinder and an auto spawner uh, these are both mine factory reloaded machines the grinder utilizes energy and uh, with that energy it kills uh, the pigs and obtains their drops puts it in this chest and it also creates uh, mob essence which I have a tesseract from right here going right there to uh, deliver the mob essence you don't need a tesseract just like a flu duct or something to put it back or wherever you want to put it and um, the auto spawner you need a safari net um, you can't use the one time, you have to use the really usable, and all you do is take the safari net, you go capture a pig, you put it in here, supply energy, supply mob essence, and you're set. Those are fans that push all the mobs this way because the mob grinder has a limited area of effect, and that's a conveyor belt which moves you. And um, basically this is just a little co compact setup, maybe you can make it more compact. Uh, all the drops from the mob grinder are shot here. Um, here's a servo letting only pork chops pass through. I don't know what the uh, grinder if you contain other drops besides pork chops, but uh, pork chops are the only thing allowed through this uh, duct. Uh, here's a redstone furnace. Most importantly in this redstone furnace is the augment trivection chamber, which uh, this is something you can create in a crafting table. And um, these are just uh, other augments to speed up the cooking process. Uh, this augment lets you use less energy and doubles the output of what uh, whatever you're cooking. So, like, that's double the energy. Um, if you're ever using a redstone furnace with this augment, you can't cook anything else besides food. Just FYI. So, that's outputted into this deep storage unit, which here's transfer nodes. Um, if this culinary generator needs more pork chops then it takes it from this deep storage unit. If I want to send the pork chop somewhere else, which it's currently doing at a very slow rate, uh, here's a Tesseract leading all the way over here to a uh, more energy efficient setup for creation of energy. So here's a deep storage unit that I've left on for a while. Uh, these are both mob traps sending them here. And that's already 10,000 um, cooked pork chops. If you multiply 10,000 by 60,000, that's how much RF you're producing, which is stupid. That is an insane amount. So, like, that's that's basically the first um, that's the first method is just killing pigs in a mob grinder and cooking their pork chops in a more efficient manner um, using the redstone furnace and the augment trifection chamber. Oh, and this. Um, this uh, culinary generator is here to keep the redstone furnace powered. And yeah, so uh, let me, yeah, I'm just. This is just a quick, like, I'm just trying to show you how much energy is produced. That's already five million RF, but like since the time I put this energy cell down. So that's that's just insane to me. You're not gonna you're not gonna use as much power unless you have like 500 quarries going at the same time. So it's unlimited amount here's a different uh, style of killing chamber this is a killer joe um, to use the killer joe all you need is nutrient distillation and a weapon 
I don't think it can use Tinker's Construct weapons, so keep that in mind. Um, the reason I don't have Fire Aspect on this is because the, what do you call it, the Redstone Furnace, like I said, with the Augment, doubles the amount cooked. So, I, like if I kill two here with Fire Aspect, I get two cooked pork chops, whereas if I get the raw stuff, um, I get double the amount of cooked pork chops. So that is the reason that Fire Aspect is not on there. Looting three and sharpness four to kill them in one, uh, one shot. Um, you might be wondering what this little setup is. Um, basically, if um, the energy goes down to zero, here's a server, or server, servo with a zero charged flux infused sword. If it goes down to zero, the uh, sword goes down to this energetic infuser and uh, it gets charged back up and the output is up which goes straight back into the killer joe for an infinite loop of killing so one thing i forgot to mention is um in this little setup where i uh constantly recharge my sword um you have to use the same sword when you're setting your filter so as you notice i have looting three and sharpness four if i put a non-enchanted uh flux infused sword in here um it wouldn't pull it out and charge it um it's got to be the same sword. If it said sharpness 4 on top and looted 3 on bottom, it still wouldn't work. It has to be the same sword. Um, and you want it at 0 RF or whatever RF you want it to take out of uh, the Killer Joe. So just uh, wanted to clarify that. So um, yeah, the drops are obtained by this vacuum hopper. So after it kills, it's sucked up into this vacuum hopper. Into the chest, you'll get different. Um, drops because the game sees it as you killing them so you can even get mob souls if you have draconic evolution and whatever pigs drop dependent on your mobs and sometimes you get cooked pork chops I don't know why that is um, maybe that's a rare drop by pigs I'm not sure uh, this is a reinforced servo right here to make sure only cooked pork chops go into your uh, redstone furnace as you can see nothing else but cooked pork whatever are going in there and then you can't see back there but there's an output uh, redstone furnace with item maybe I can just break these with uh, yeah impulse item duct shooting out all of the cooked pork chops from the redstone furnace so they get shot out they're not even appearing there because they're getting shot out so fast into a culinary generator to keep the energetic infuser and redstone furnace powered and then into a tesseract which sends all of those over here and you can just see the cooked pork chops being stacked up in this deep storage unit ready to go and be utilized for energy so yeah that is the oh yeah this is just a short little setup on your killing machine for the killer joe i already explained it though okay and um into our next method so that's the pig method um i i prefer this method because it's so simple to set up and uh, this setup in, uh, specifically is like all you need is an auto spawner, um, a way to obtain mob essence, and a grinder, and boom, you have infinite energy. Uh, that one, uh, the stabilized mob spawner, you, um, you might need a little bit more resources, which is near end game. So the second method is taking wheat and converting it into a power source like toast. It should be toast if you're using wheat. Um, the reason we use wheat to toast is because you can multiply um, the energy that you can receive from toast. And that is by the sag mill and these two redstone furnaces and the upgrades they have in them. So first off, you get your wheat by using any method you want. This is a harvester, a planter, and a fertilizer from Mine Factory Reloaded. You can use a general vanilla farm, whatever way you want to get wheat. And what you want to do is you want to bring the wheat over here and you want to put it in a sag mill. So when you put the wheat in a sag mill, let's, whatever. When you put the wheat in a sag mill, you'll generate two flour. Um, that can be further multiplied by putting in a catalyst like this dark steel ball or flint. Um, in my opinion, this is not needed because you'll generate more than enough toast without these catalysts. And honestly, it's a waste of these catalysts to me because these catalysts are very useful in breaking down ores to multiply the outputs from those. So I would not recommend using catalysts unless you have a surplus of them. So here we have uh, outputs for 
to get the stuff out of the sag mill after it's produced. So this one is for wheat flour. This is a servo that only allows wheat flour to go into this redstone furnace. So, and this filter is only for seeds. There's nothing in this servo, um, although there should be servos and then whitelisted. Um, but seeds are in this deep storage unit, so only seeds can go into this item duct. So when the flour is transported to this redstone furnace, it is cooked to bread. So wheat comes in this side, configuration import blue, export orange. Wheat flour comes in here, it cooks to bread. So one wheat flour, keep in mind we made two wheat flour from one wheat. One wheat flour comes in here and it is cooked to two bread due to this augment called trivection chamber. So when you make this, it increases the food output by two. So you'll double whatever you're cooking. Um, when you have this augment in here, you only can cook. So And it uses half the energy, so more energy produced in, um, in essence. So we put in, well, I'm not going to put in one because it's automatically going to export. So when it's exported as bread, keep in mind you're exporting to bread, it's going to cook it once again to toast. Remember, we have trivection chamber once again, so it doubles it. So one wheat, two wheat flour, two wheat flour, four bread, four bread, eight toast. One flour, or one wheat, eight toast. That is OP, that is infinite power, that's easy power. So that is the gist of this whole setup. So I'm going to just throw in 64 wheat here, and we're going to see how much uh, wheat we obtain. It should be 64 times 8, um, and we're going to let this run. So remember that you need to uh, power these machines. I have augments in these machines, such as the reception coils, um, because like it cooks them faster. This also uses more energy, so it's not as energy efficient, but if you want to cook them as fast as possible, that's what you want to do. Remember that you need a, spec uh, a specific um, machine frame when you make these machines. Uh, this one's resonant. Um, to use these, you need, like if you look at the bottom right there, it says requires hardened machine, and requires re reinforced machine requires previous levels to be installed you need the lower tier before you can install the upper tier and uh, that just cooks it all faster and I think we're finishing up on this one um, watch I'll take these out it'll cook much slower put these back in cook much faster so this is the setup you don't need all these are downgradable I just wanted to use these because this is what I have in my world impulse item ducts transport some faster higher um, quantities or I don't even think higher quantities, I think that servo controls that, and then uh, a Tesseract if you want to have a remote power source. So let's take a look at how much wheat we produced. I think this is actually, I think I messed up on my calculation because we have over, we have almost a thousand, oh wait, no I didn't mess up, there's already wheat, or there's already toast in here. So I actually put two stacks in here. So that is a, that's so much toast. And you put this into a culinary generator. I think it generates like 30,000, 32,000 RF. A thousand times 32,000. A thousand times 32,000. That is what? 32 million RF? Yeah, that's 32 million RF from two sacks of wheat. That's stupid. That is so stupid and OP. But this is a great early game um, little setup for your energy production. This can last you for so long until you can upgrade to something like um, these pigs. I use these pigs more often than not. Um, I don't need wheat anymore or this toast because you get more energy out of pigs and it's less maintenance. I don't have to get wheat anymore. That's self-sufficient but this is super easy early game uh, RF and it's just yeah, it's OP. I hope you enjoyed it. Those are my two methods, the pig method and the wheat method. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comments. If you uh, need guidance or help on any other mod or uh, just anything in modded Minecraft, feel free to let me know or any mod that's in FTB Ultimate because that's the pack I'm currently playing. I just want to provide guidance to... Uh, uh, players who need it because oftentimes if I'm looking at a new mod 
Uh, I get very confused and I have to research for hours. I just want to make simple videos to help understand small concepts. So, hope or pretty difficult concepts, but you know, whatever. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you liked it. Hope it helps you. Thank you. Take care.